Hello, and welcome to another ScrapbookPal.com video. Today we're going to take a look at the four different Zig two-way glue pens. All of these pens have the same glue inside. When first applied, the glue is blue for a permanent bond. When you let that glue dry, it will dry clear and have a temporary bond. Now let's take a look at the four different tips. First up, we have the squeeze and roll tip. This one is like a ballpoint pen and you need to squeeze it in order to get the glue to flow. Next up, we have the fine tip, which is more like a bullet marker tip. Then we have the chisel tip, which actually can be turned to get a couple different application sizes. And last up, we have the jumbo tip for the largest of applications. Now remember, all of these glues will dry clear and give you a temporary bond. Now let's take a closer look at that squeeze and roll tip. I love this pen for applying glue to the finest and most detailed die cuts. You can see here I'm putting it on in lines and dots, but making sure that I squeeze the barrel gently as I apply the glue and then I can adhere this really fine die cut to the front of my card. Next up is the fine tip pen. You'll notice this tip is white and that's with all the other pens as well. They've come to you white and you're going to want to prime the pen before you use it just by pumping it up and down on a scratch piece of paper until the blue glue flows through that tip and then you're ready to use it. This fine tip is great for your small die cuts, for applying your embellishments. All of these glue pens are gonna work great for applying your lightweight embellishments, such as these clay accents, sequins, confetti, and glitter. Now remember, when dry, you're gonna get a temporary adhesive. So you can do things like move your elements around before you decide where they want to go, then press them into place for a permanent hold. You can create your own masks, as I've done here with a die and some copy paper. After about a minute, that glue is dry and I can stick my embellishment or my mask down onto my paper and apply my ink right over the top. When I'm all done, I can easily remove my mask and there will be no sticky residue left behind. The chisel tip you can turn on its side to get a thinner line of glue and also use the tip or the corner to get a dot of glue. You can do the same with this jumbo tip. I like the jumbo tip for large pieces that also have pointy corners so you can turn it on its side and adhere those easily. All of these glues work great for glitter because it's such a thin glue. When it dries, you're not going to have that bulky glue behind it. So that's a look at the Zig two-way glue pens. You can find all of these at scrapbookpal.com. Bye.